Welcome to You Music Saved Us, where two friends blast ourselves into the past to relive and recontextualize the alternative Christian music we grew up listening to in the 1990s. Bite the dust. Hell yeah. My name is Clifton, and I will be emceeing this uh, little uh, indie music festival that we're going to do here. And I'm joined by two lovely people. First, you know him, you love him. Jay, how are you doing? I'm great, Clifton. I'm excited to do this episode. It's like, it feels perfect because I think this is going to be out right around Halloween, right? This should be our Halloween episode. Perfect. Spooky. And the idea behind the brains and the brawn behind this Halloween episode. <laughs> Joining us is Donovan. How are you doing? I'm I'm good, man. It was so hard to not just do like the freaking like hip hop air horn every five seconds. There, <laughs> you're like the man, the myth, the legend. Jay, I'm in my head. I'm like, bear, bear, bear. <laughs> <laughs> how are you guys doing? Well over here, yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So what what are we what are we doing today, sir? We promised people that the next episode was going to be three crosses, and that we're going to get to three crosses, but Donovan had a great idea to interrupt everything and have a Halloween episode. So, Donovan, why don't you tell us what we're doing? <laughs> well, I th- I'm glad you put it that way, because that is the most, like, ADHD perfect, like, explanation of the way I do things, where I'm just like, hey, you guys got something going on? This is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, the last time I was on here talking to you guys, we just chose, I chose a bunch of my favorite Carmen songs and we uh, broke them down and talked about them, but it got to be a little too much for Clifton near the end when we were going to get to my favorite song, which is Satan Bite the Dust. And you guys were like, just come back. We'll do the video. And then I was at work a couple days ago and I was like, hey, you guys want to do that video? <laughs> Maybe we could do it for Halloween. So that's where we're at. <laughs> and Donovan. I appreciate it because it, it enabled me to put off listening to Three Crosses a little bit longer. So thank See, you I don't even I know what Three Crosses one of their songs. is. Oh, well, you, it's okay. You are better <laughs> off. It's like No one knows like, anything by not knowing. It's like when I suggested Pillar to Clifton. <laughs> I was like, I don't know that. I was like, I do not don't blame know that you. One. <laughs> it's just, it's just uh, Christian new metal. But just, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> I mean, we'll get to it at some point, I'm sure. Oh, I'm but. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So we're covering the, specifically we're covering the video for Carmen's Satan by the Dust. And, okay, just because I just looked it up to give us background, this came out in 1991 on his album Addicted to Jesus, just to kind of like give us <laughs> Yeah, A2J. Yeah. That's the year I was born. This song was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> do we want to talk about any, like, Jay, do, do you remember this video as a kid? You know, funny, I remember the song more than the video, but that's yeah. probably how things were back in the day, right? Because, like, the tape or the CD were much easier to get than, like, the video of this. And I'm also guessing this video probably came out, like, a little bit later. Yeah, um, right. I don't know exactly when the video was made. So, I don't honestly remember the video nearly as much as just... I definitely remember the song. I had this album and I loved it because I was like 11 at the time, Hell which yeah. is about <laughs> peak age, I think, for Carmen appreciation. So, it is, you know, yes. it's like right after that's right when you start stop listening to Carmen Yo Kids rap and you're yep. like, now I'm ready for the adult stuff. <laughs> 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 this is as serious as you can get Satan bite the dust. <laughs> and then, but right before it's like, Oh shit, this is bad, right? Like you somehow <laughs> hit that realization when you become a teenager, you know, of like, yeah. oh yeah. Or or you just want to have friends in school and you realize right. no one can know that I listen to this. It's it's one of the ones where you turn it down as you pull up close to people in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Donovan, what about you? What was your uh, what was your experience growing up with this uh with this song and video? So Carmen was big. My dad was huge into the TBN website. He would order stuff from it all the time, tapes and stuff like that. So we had a lot of Carmen videotapes. We also had a lot of Weird Al videotapes that he ordered from Time Life. 
So I was like, those were in heavy rotation back and forth. Carmen and Weird Al for me. <laughs> and But it's like, if you think about it, it's kind of the same level of silliness. You know what I mean? With these videos, <laughs> like it's so over the top and just crazy, silly makeup. So, but, yeah. But one's intentional and one is maybe not. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my experience with it was uh, just, I was constantly watching this on a tape. And I, I, I fucking love this song and this video. I thought... <laughs> It was so goofy, and I was, like, super into, like, 90s country because my mom, so I thought the devil looked like Alan Jackson. We'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> my own, my experience with Carmen, the, I think the sole introduction I had to Carmen was at a, at a youth camp that we went to when I was in junior high, but it was, it's very important that it wasn't, like, it was a youth camp with, like, a bunch of different churches, you know, like, mm-hmm. and we were just mm-hmm. one of them. Because I definitely Carmen was not anything within my church. Like people did not right. acknowledge his existence because I think he's too charismatic, maybe, you know. Uh, that guy's too cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he exactly. would have heard that. <laughs> he's exactly. like, I, all I'm hearing is that I'm too cool of a guy for your church. <laughs> wait, wait, Clifton, did he perform at your youth camp or just like you heard his music there? Oh, no, we shit. just heard his music there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I thought he was like, yeah, I was like, damn. Okay. It was right when, what's what was the the one with the Christian flag on it? The standard, right? Yeah. It was right as that was coming out. Hell yeah. That I love album. the thought of it just knows. All you have to do yeah. is describe the cover. And he's like, <laughs> well, I did also do like nine episodes on this son yes. of a bitch. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> And that was, that was, I didn't even, that was muscle memory. When Clifton said, what was it? My tongue just went for it. That was my <laughs> speaking in tongues. <laughs> well, all right. How about we just get into this? Because it's, uh, it's going to be a disaster no matter how we do this. So Clifton, are you going to kind of do like we did last time? Like play a short clip. Yeah. We'll kind of describe what we're seeing yes. and then just take it apart a little bit. Precise. Hell yeah. Okay. This is going to be the longest four minutes and 44 seconds of your lives, guys. <laughs> four minutes and 28 seconds, according to my clock here, because the last uh, 16 seconds or so is, is an advertisement for something else. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We're not oh, going to yeah, talk about that? Because it's, it's, it's <laughs> this is Carmen's YouTube channel, so he's got like a little thing at yeah. the end of like, oh, hell you know, yeah. click here for more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'm gonna. We're in the audience. We're gonna watch this through, but I may skip some of this because the the first minute is fairly silent. Honestly. Oh come on, Clifton. Yeah, but maybe we'll maybe uh, maybe we'll describe what's going on as as we watch it. You have no appreciation for cinema, Clifton. (laughs) (laughs) The first clip we're gonna watch is gonna be the longest one that goes without without interruption, though, because it's very little happens and it's kind of quiet. So we have a guy riding up to a building uh, on a horse, looking old timey, you know, maybe like the 1800s, something like that. Gets off his horse, ties it to a pole, and that probably has a name. Takes off his jacket, his overcoat, throws it on the horse. The horse breathes out loud. And there's a gun, a six shooter, pulled out. And for some reason, the gun got electric. <laughs> now the guy is walking into the saloon. We're seeing a bunch of characters. Party's over. Shut it down. I'm hunting for someone, y'all. Okay. Okay. Hang on. You now. There was a <laughs> lot there, Clifton. Yeah, that yeah. was a lot. There was. <laughs> I was waiting to see how you were going to describe those characters that you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I, knew, but, I knew we were about to stop. So. To back up a little bit, first of all, I'm not sure he used the correct knot to tear up to tie up his horse. Um, I'm a <laughs> I little, thought that just too. Kind of like half-assed, like just right. a little. But I think the horse is probably gone now. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. I think that's what you call the trust knot. You know the horse isn't going to take off. Okay. Yeah. 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 Clearly, Carmen but, never played Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely walked into those some kind of like saloon looking place. Did the doors mm-hmm. even swing like they normally do? I wasn't paying that much attention, but um, you know the swinging saloon doors. I hope they did. I think we weren't on Carmen. Oh yeah, there it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. As he walks in. Yeah. 
and it's it's yeah. a it's like a two like it's a it's a room that's almost like two stories because there's like a balcony around the edge kind of thing. Yeah, it's kind of like your stereotypical saloon. Yeah, maybe yeah. those are brought like the, the brothel with some rooms upstairs or something. Yeah. Now I'm gonna be honest. Before we mock it too much, one thing that I did think was kind of cool is I liked how the piano player was like chained to the wall. Yeah, or a piano. Like, yeah, that was kind so, of a cool. So the touch. Ch- yeah, the piano player is chained through his chest to the wall, and so is the bartender's chain on his chest. That's actually maybe the one good artistic thing that happens in this entire. I, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, I agree with that. It's like how can we include human beings? Oh, they're chained to their sins. Yes, exactly. So clever, you guys. Carmen's so <laughs> clever. <laughs> before he goes, because I know we want to talk about the characters. One other thing, before he goes in, he pulls out his pistol, which, by the way, looks really small to me. I don't know if it did to anybody else, <laughs> but I was just a little like, it seems small. it's got also got like a pearl handle. Yeah. Um, And he spins it around once. uh, And there then also go. like. It light or it has like lightning <laughs> on it, like 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 some kind of really bad. I don't even CGI is probably not even the it's right like word. Power Rangers type, of <laughs> yeah, stuff. Right. yeah, yeah exactly. That's a great <laughs> exactly like, like Power, Power Ranger <laughs> type thing. Before he puts it back in the like holster. Ivan oozes in the movie where all that purple electricity goes all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we get the uh, then he walks in um with the, he and he does have stirrups on by the way that's very important that that mm-hmm. Carmen has stirrups on uh, by the way the person we're walking watching walk in is Carmen wait you mean spurs right spurs sorry yeah yeah i was like okay yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry gotcha and then uh, so then we as he walks in there's a <sighs> character <laughs> It looks like something out of like a ride at Six Flags or something, you know? Yeah, like, like an so animatronic. Like really bad, but like really bad <laughs> animatronic type thing. But I don't think it's, I think it's uh, a person. I think this is a person, yeah. isn't it? Is it's it? got mach- Yeah. It's a lot of but, makeup. But the beautiful thing is that, okay, it's, oh my God, it's. You're just going to make him keep of, looking up at us like that. Speaking of being racist, it gets racist immediately. <laughs> like, no. So <laughs> what we're looking at is a character that I would say at least enough reminiscent of the the characters in Harry Potter that that are meant to make fun of the Jews. Yes. That we know we, you know this is also a meant to be a a, a Jewish type thing. And he's and he has a I forget the name of this instrument. Look, um, it looks like, like a D. mandolin or something. Or a it's an Eastern European instrument mm-hmm. and would be associated with 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 Jews. <laughs> so I think the first thing we're seeing here is a Jewish stereotype, in my opinion. He also he, looks really like just small, right? Like yes. this character looks like it's like no more than three or four feet tall. Yeah, um, Jews, goblins, right? Like same. I didn't even think about that. Like how it was a smaller <laughs> one compared to the other ones. I didn't even think about that. And it. <laughs> It's got like a it's like horrible. its ear is like folded over. Like it's got a really big ear that's like yeah. folded over, almost um, like a dog. Yeah, I think it's wearing glasses that it's looking out over. But I, I was wondering that too if it was tell. glasses or like jowls or like eye sockets. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's got long hair coming out from under this like head wrap. Turban is not the right word, but like what is a head wrap? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's basically wearing a sheet. I don't know, or like a white. Yeah. And it's white. For some reason, it's white. <laughs> I, I'm making it sound like KKK. It's not that. It's no. just like... <laughs> well, when you put it... Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Oh, man. I think it's just meant to be more like bed linen. I mean, like, but like the yeah. kind of like that you put on. Like, like you know... Honestly, though, nothing about PJs. this character, unlike the others, which the others at least seem Western, this doesn't even seem Western. I'm like, no. I don't know what... The, it's like they had a leftover from something else. That just <laughs> were like, I think uh, that's what all of this is. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like a mashup of a bunch of different, like, Middle Eastern cultures or something to just be like, look at this bad guy that's from over there or something yes. like that. Yeah. And you hit on it, really, that, that no matter what it is being being depicted, it's definitely being depicted as not American, and that's why it's evil. Yeah. Mm, okay. I might as well just put him like, look, look at him pooping on an American pie. <laughs> an apple pie. I mean, that's an that's an American one. <laughs> All right. So uh, at that point, Carmen walked in, and he he literally st- like starts shooting. He walks <laughs> in and starts shooting immediately. <laughs> so anyway, I start blasting. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I I think he didn't shoot a person. I think he shot. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's he shot the chain that was chaining the piano player to the to the piano. Yeah, that was the first one, and then he shot some rope, and I'm not exactly sure. No, what I think that it's was. the same bullet. I think the bullet just. Bounced. Oh, he's such a good shot. Oh, it's because yeah. he's got those like electric that electric gun. Do we want to talk about what he's wearing right now? <laughs> yes, I do, because uh, I want to wear it. <laughs> it's like a mixture of Colonel Sanders and freaking White Earp. <laughs> Who wants I'm, to describe this? Nobody? I don't even know how. What kind of hat is that? His hat looks a lot smaller than I remembered. Thank it barely you. His head. I was just thinking that. Like, he's wearing a black cowboy style hat but it's like but the rim is so small (laughs) yeah right so small it's only like a couple inches wide but not like a fedora it's like when you're in a kid when you're a kid in one of those thanksgiving plays and you're playing the pilgrim (laughs) (laughs) it is (laughs) (laughs) it's a little too small ma even that even his uh little tie thing he's wearing looks like one of the pilgrim ties that's true. Yeah, he, he's wearing that, like you're right, like that Colonel Sanders style, mm-hmm. almost like a bow tie, guy, yeah. like, but not a bow, but like hanging down lower. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. yeah. And other than that, he it's it's he's wearing a black coat with a almost black vest. Mm-hmm. It's like greenish and a little bit. I think that may just be the lighting, the kind of reflecting off of it differently because it's yeah, a probably. Yeah, it's all and, the sinning uh, in the room. <laughs> <laughs> And then a white shirt, yeah. And so oh, he's, he's basically don't forget all the gloves. Black. Don't forget those those oh, yeah. those sexy gloves he's got on. <laughs> black gloves, also. We should also <laughs> clarify it's nighttime. Um, oh yeah. So when you see, yeah. come on, Jay. Outside it's night. Yes, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, just just to clarify to make it a little more ominous. Yeah. They wouldn't be out yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all that happened before I paused for us to move into the. Well, uh, the little weird creature we we're just talking about has ducked down now after the shot under yes. the table and um what's the diamond under the table that has diamond whiskey on it yeah um, diamond whiskey yep i don't know why they're calling it that i was hoping it's, there'd be something more my, clever but my anyway. favorite well, kind of whiskey that probably is just a real whiskey bottle like i don't think that they they i don't think they're art department like this is carmen man this is yeah right, right. Like, i'm, lo- I'm looking it up it. while we keep going <laughs> go grab it off of my desk but there's also shot glasses on the table, which means that they like they're really committed to this. They send and bought shot glasses to to have in this video. You guys, oh, you're right. Again, yeah. this is just Carmen's back. This is all backstage stuff. <laughs> the budget was very low, so they're like, eh, "I'll just shoot it in my green room." <laughs> I don't see it, man. I think it might have been created for this, or it's okay. some kind of just prop. Yeah, I know. Oh snap! All right. It's, well, they probably did m- the Dean Martin trick, and it's just tea. <laughs> I assume so, yeah. It doesn't look like, I mean, it looks cloudier than whiskey should look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Let me I don't think that. it's whiskey. <laughs> All right, I'm going to push play here, and we're going to continue on with the next little segment. No, he's a lion thieving rattlesnake, and he's broken every law. He's terrorized the lives of men, Ugh. and he's under arrest because I've been sent with a warrant from the body of Christ. Satan, bite the dust. (laughs) (laughs) Shit's popping off, you guys. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So that's a little Carmen monologue when he walks in. I guess this this was like one of the monologues that like one of my when my little sister moved up here. I put this on randomly, and we just were (laughs) verbatim just saying this whole part. And we were kind of looking at each other with terror in our eyes as we were doing it, (laughs) like we were like incant like saying some incantation from like the Necronomicon. We're like, how do we still know this? (laughs) This part is terrifying to me. So we we see us we see a series of characters here that we have not seen yet. We so we've already seen the piano guy, but we have, but now we're seeing. I assume these are demons of some sort. Yeah, yeah, because their faces are pretty like right. fucked up. Um. And, and that's mainly <laughs> the thing is just that they're like have masks on basically. Where this guy's got a big nose, which Jesus Christ again. I think we're okay. This one's wearing like like a hood or something too, though. Yeah. To, to hide the mask, I think. 
to make yeah. the costume any easier. <laughs> You're this right. one mask also seems to cut off right above the mouth. I noticed that throughout the whole video. It looks really cheap. Oh, um, that's, that's, yeah. Good yeah. Point. Have you guys ever seen Ernest Scared Stupid? Mm, <sighs> I mean, probably when I was a kid. Yeah, it's been a long time. Like the trolls in that remind me of these masks and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same vintage. <laughs> yeah, right. This same one looks kind of like. Style. This one looks like if a Ferengi from Star Trek, like without the ears, and you just beat the shit out of it for about three hours, I think. <laughs> Left it in the sun for a bit. Yeah. 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 If that was a wax, if it was a wax mask, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of pan past a, a body that is holding a gun. It's kind of like shivering in fear because of Carmen, you know, because he's such a. But it's up on the balcony. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Because this yeah. whole part is kind of zoomed out. That's how we see some more of the characters. Yes. Um, this and man has the him. higher ground. You could totally take him. <laughs> this is that's my thing with this video is they're all just standing around letting him talk, and they're like, "They're supposed to be scary demons. Just take him out." <laughs> okay, okay, Donovan, what the hell? Okay, first of all, who is this character supposed to be, and what the hell is he saying? Because there's this little part where another character oh. says something, and I, I don't know. So many. I questions. think he says, "What kind of war here is that?" or something like that. <sighs> Okay. This is with the warrant from the body of Christ. Well, what warrant? What kind of warrant is here? Is that? I see. Okay. I think that's what he says. But that's my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy looks like uh, a um, a Lord of the Rings dwarf <laughs> mixed yes. with maybe like uh, there's some like, there's there's a character I can't think of on. Um, Shit, what's that sci-fi show where the guy, John Crichton, travels in time, you know? Quantum Leap. Jesus, you guys. Sliders. You're so bad at this. Wait, Sliders wait. is my a shit, A sci-fi though. show where a guy travels in time. Thanks, yeah, Clifton. that's not You're really real. helping us, Clifton. <laughs> Farscape. Nope. Farscape? Okay. Don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks like this looks like a mix between a Farscape character where like he's got like forehead ridges, almost like a Klingon a little bit, but not right. really kind of mixed with a dwarf, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but again, it looks like like real skin poking out under the the Klingon stuff that's completely different colored from like his flesh tone. <laughs> and so yep. it's just like it's just weird. <laughs> It's not done well at all. And he's playing, this guy's like a prospector kind of character. Yeah, (laughs) maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think what's funny about it isn't just that it's not done well. It's that the mask itself, I think, is super professional. Like, I think they spent some money on this. And then someone was like, and by the way, I'll apply it for thirty dollars. And like, fuck you, we'll apply it for two dollars. You know? Wait, that's yeah. Like <laughs> right. they clearly did spend some money on this well, video. <laughs> so why not just like put some makeup on the guy's face to get his face the same color as the mask that's clearly <laughs> over most of it, right? Well, like Because this is being shown on 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 twelve TBN. inch t- 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 cathode <laughs> TBN, ray tube yeah. TVs, Jay. <laughs> TBN.com, baby. Fair. Okay. It's a uh, when we were looking into a lot of Carmen stuff, basically everything he ever did was was volunteer work, right. and almost every volunteer never did the shit they did before. So it, it was basically <laughs> like what Clifton said, where it was like, "I'll do it for two dollars," except it was Miss Ruth over there who had never even touched, you know, fucking. <laughs> Spirit yeah. gum once in her life that's now applying <laughs> this whole fucking head prosthetic. <laughs> yeah, it, and so instead of being, I'll do it for two dollars. It, it was, I'll do it for free and also bring you know hash brown casserole or something like that. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> yep. <laughs> is that so? When this chandelier falls, is that he shot that by an accident? Is that what happened? Well, remember when everything was bouncing and one of the things we saw yeah. that was shot was a rope. But it didn't go all the way through the rope. It went through like two of the three strands of the rope. And so the last strand was holding on, but but slipping, okay? Did he do that on purpose? Uh, man, I, I think he's just that good. Like he's like James McAvee and freaking Wanted when he's yeah. curving the bullet. <laughs> yeah. So literally, I think the first bullet hit the chain of the one guy that was chained to the to the piano. Bounced off of that, hit the chain of the guy who was chained to the bar. Bounced off of that and hit the uh, the rope on the on the chandelier all at the same time. This is like me when I play pool. I'm like, <laughs> I meant to hit all of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but 
we have to back up here a little second because when he shot all these things, something very specific happens where you, you'll see that there's a there's a guy chained to the piano, right? But there's also a lady next to him. Is she and not she chained is anything? not chained to the piano. <gasps> oh, is she chained to anything? I don't know. Is she? And if she is, very importantly, he didn't shoot her chain. <laughs> he only he only broke the chains of the men. Yeah, well, you know, we got we got to get the brothers out of here before we can do anything else. <laughs> yeah. So either they're either in their minds, the women are there to tempt the men into not leaving, but they're already chained or something like that. I, I, didn't I don't even know think about that. <laughs> or that women don't don't aren't in need of having their chains broken. It's yeah, just you just men. keep the women chained, right? I mean, that's yeah. got to be. Are the women are technically demons too, so they're just among their ilk. Yeah, even yeah. though they look like human women, I guess they could still be demons, and because that's definitely who what Carmen thinks about. Because we know these people. women, these women just be tempting these men. That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> and the last, uh, um, I want to call him an alien, but it's a demon, I guess that we <laughs> that we see is this guy right here. Uh, is this is this the same guy? Or is this a different? I think guy? it's the, the same, same guy. guy. Okay, this is the same guy. I didn't. That's more detailed though. I didn't notice it all is, the little yeah. horns. Yeah, they're they're little. They're, 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 at first, it looked to me like little suction cups, but I guess they're little horns that are coming out of his forehead ridges. You know? That's the dwarf guy it's, we were just talking about. Right, yeah, yes. that's a super detailed mask. Oh my gosh, that's what I'm saying. It's a good mask, and then they applied it like shit. Yep. <laughs> they had the money. <laughs> they got it from the congregation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Instead of buying all these flashy watches and shit like all the preachers do now, Carmen was spending it on a production. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the last thing that happened is, what should we describe this this demon, I guess? Is, is this a demon? Oh, it's a woman. And it's well, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a person in a dress <laughs> with long hair. Definitely a guy with a demon mask on. <laughs> I mean, it's supposed to be a woman. Yes. Yeah. Who has, if, yeah. Either aged very poorly or it's a demon. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm hoping it's the latter because if not, then I'm, I feel yeah bad for whatever happened. And that rope that you saw fraying finally breaks, and the chandelier falls straight down onto the main like kind of like poker card table in the room yes. and smashes mm-hmm. it. And that demon lady gets out of the way really quickly. I'm glad you said the the main one, because there are like seven in there for some reason. (laughs) Yeah, There's there's only like six people in that room. (laughs) And and the last thing we see as we see the chandelier fall, we're also looking back up at the balcony and we see the the guy that who was who was nervously thinking about pulling his gun has now stepped forward. And now it's also some kind of demon creature. Yes. Everyone's a demon except for those two people. It kind of looks like Greedo. It does, actually, yeah. And he's got his gun drawn. <laughs> Every one of you unclean spirits, I'm running you out of town. Depression, strife, disease, and fear, your posse's going down. Oh, last dinner for the dog, Batman. We sent him over the box. But I know who I am through Jesus Christ, so I talk to you demons like dogs. <laughs> I love that little howl. Do you hear it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there's a lot there. Uh, <laughs> so much there. I know. Hold on. Let's all just take a second to digest that badassery. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So that that's actually the first part I want to talk about is in the – it's probably hard for listeners to know because – the chandelier breaks the table. You hear that in the song, but then this shooting, I'm pretty sure you didn't actually hear the gunshot in the song. Because it's all at the same time, yeah. 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 And so you're unaware that after the chandelier falls, that gr- that uh, Greedo guy or whatever steps forward on the balcony, is about to shoot Carmen, but Carmen pulls his pistol. Like he has his gun out, but he's definitely not taking any any steps to shoot it's, Carmen. It's yeah. just like Greedo, because Han actually did shoot first. Yes, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Carmen <laughs> shoots him. Blast them. Oh, and by the way, when these people get, or when these demons get shot, they um just, like, disappear. They fall to the ground, and then, like, whoop, <laughs> this really bad effect. And it's, just it's, gone. it's, it's probably light. the best effect here, because it's definitely, like, that 80s, like, I don't know, industrial light and magic kind of bullshit. Like, right. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's, that and it's a lighting had- effect. Like, it's the, it's the outline of the body gets bright and then disappears. Yeah, right. And, like, a ripple way. 
Yeah. It, it kind of looks like a, a dream sequence and like a fucking unsolved mysteries flashback. <laughs> <laughs> so we just happened to pause right here looking at the piano player and the woman next to him. And you actually can see that she is chained. Just that Carmen didn't give a shit about shooting her chain. <laughs> she's still she's still chained. She's still chained to the chair. Yeah. <laughs> and she hasn't even said anything because, you know, in the church, the women are just like, I guess this is what I deserve. Sure. And, and and she's very chaste for probably being a harlot in a bar, you know. Oh, she, yeah, she, yeah. yeah. She, no, she's showing no skin. Like, you can't even see most of her neck. Right. I know, but I feel like that was she's this outfit would still cause a lot of men to trip up in the church. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. Is, is this maybe Satan approaching? Like we yeah. we, 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 like we cut outside to the uh, outside okay. of the bar and we see like something, too. yeah, something approaching the bar maybe here. Is this it, is Carmen know. saw Evil Dead and he was like, I like that camera angle. I'm stealing that from <laughs> Sam Raimi's. <laughs> so Carmen says like, what what did, what did we just miss? like all you demons? Time to yeah. get out of town. Or Every whatever. one of you unclean spirits, I'm running you out of town. Depression, strife. Disease and fear, your posse is going, going down. down. Now, <laughs> then we cut back to the like weird dwarf character. Donovan, what the hell is he saying? <laughs> uh, oh shit, I used to remember this. I can tell you, I have, I, I have the lyrics here. Yeah, okay. go for it. <laughs> Boy, last tender for who talked that big, we sent him home in a box. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, okay, I was like really struggling to make out what he was. Okay. <laughs> the last part I always remember, that's the most intelligible part. We sent him home in a box. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, this demon means business. Because that's the kind of talk that's in, like, casino and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we also get a better shot here of what I described earlier as the Fringy who, who had the shit beat out of him and Donovan said he melted. He's yeah. actually got some horns coming out of his forehead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're all supposed to represent different sins, I believe, too. Yeah, he, he says depression, strife, disease, and fear. Your process going down. He kind of cuts yeah. to different demons. And actually, we're going to get to a little bit of that, more of that here in a minute. And what does he say? I cut you down like dogs. Okay, talk- that's at the very end here. Before yeah. I paused it, yes. Ugh, that is yeah. I so I was telling Clifton this yesterday when I watched it. Because I was like, man, this mm-hmm. honestly explains so much of like where we are right now. <laughs> <laughs> in a country where, like, you know, people are calling Democrats Democrats and really meaning this shit. Oh, like, man, yeah. This is fucked up. And this is, like, you know, early 90s. But this is, like, people start to believe this shit, right? And, like, yeah, like just, yeah. these are these are the people these are the people who started all that. Yeah, like, and, just really uh, demon, like, making demons out to be, like, people, a sense, in, in this yes. case. And, like, really just, like... I'm out to kill you. I'm out to destroy you because Jesus is on my side or something weird. I don't right. know. It's just, it's really, justified. Yeah. It's really scary. It's really weird. Then there is like, Carmen has no doubt about his position. He's just coming in. This is what he's yeah. meant to do. It's I'm helping. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's and scary. You guys making those connections and stuff. The worst part about it to me is re- like realizing and remembering how much of this I was like so into. Like I fucking was, I believe this. Like there's a part that's coming up and I still listen mm-hmm. to this part. I, f- I remember getting goosebumps. So like there's like a muscle memory in the back of my head when that part coming up where I'm just like, I cringe because I'm like, fuck man, this part used to get me so bad. And that that's really upsetting that you're making that connection where it's like, this is how they are now. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. And, uh, you know, I think when, when, when your theology is based in kind of fear of sin, mm. it, 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 it starts to make sense to use any means necessary to destroy that sin, whether that's right. violence or whatever, you know. And personifying the sin like that, too, it makes it so easy to forgive yourself, to just be like, to make it so it's, uh, like, to do the whole sin flattening thing, where it's mm-hmm. just like, well, I'll just say sorry later, It's because yeah. that's yeah. it over there. It's It just simplifies it so much. It's, yeah. Hmm. All right, you guys ready to move on to the next segment? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Satan, you coward, you molester of souls. I command you to appear. You're hiding from the presence of God, but I can feel your fear you. from here. You ran on my G-Wall long enough, you got something in your craw. A praying church wants you to know. No one. Your kingdom's gonna fall. There's gonna be trouble here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I still love it. There's gonna be trouble here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I thought that was so cool when I was a kid. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so this this part is basically about Carmen calling Satan to uh, to come face him. But we do see some more demons. This one's a uh, a cowboy, <laughs> <laughs> like a He's classy had- dress cowboy, kind of like Carmen. Except this hat seems to be actual normal size, <laughs> appropriately sized. Yeah. Even though it's sitting on this weird uh, giant giant mask of a demon Ken and really like just Freddy. looks like an old it looks like freddy krueger yes that's what i was saying it looks <laughs> again like and again these masks are great except there's like this big eye hole where you could clearly see just like a normal dude beneath it like it it again just like a little bit more makeup a little bit of couple things it would have been fantastic Right. Yeah, in this in this shot specifically, you can actually see the shadows around the eye hole where yeah. it's sitting off the face. <laughs> I just choose to believe that his eyes are super sunken in. Mm. <laughs> that could be another that could be another interpretation. I'm just I'm just so just suspending my disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> so we see some more shots of of kind of Satan, you know, the camera approaching the bar in a in a in a weaving pattern outside, and then we cut to Carmen still calling out Satan, and behind him. Satan appears out of nowhere. But kind of over his shoulder, like Carmen's yeah. not looking at him yet. Yeah. yeah. He steps out of the shadows. Mm-hmm. I, w- I also want to point out that while, while Carmen's still talking, to, just talking crap to the devil, he's doing that super like stereotypical Italian thing where he's like got his hands up and he's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> Take a screenshot of that. Send that to me. <laughs> so after, after the devil appears over Carmen's shoulder, he turns around and he points straight at him. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, I pray. Okay, so here's our first shot know. of the devil. Who wants to describe this? <laughs> Donovan, go for it. Um, if you've ever seen the movie My Demon Lover, it looks just <laughs> like that. <laughs> what? It's a great movie. It's a romantic comedy. Okay. Uh, and it's that, that's how it looks. He's got uh, a wrinkly forehead. If you've ever seen the vampires in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer series, it yes. kind of looks a little bit like that. That's what nose. I was going to say. Like, if, 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 a, you know how in, in, in Buffy the Vampire, their foreheads kind of like bulge out a little bit when they become yep. vampires? If a Klingon <laughs> became a vampire. <laughs> oh, shit. Right? That would be a yeah. beautiful structure on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> well, but that's I, what's going on here. I would want to take a piece of paper and a pencil and do a little imprint with like a... <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then there's also two two horns kind of just pointing, pointing. Right. Why is his mouth so little, though? <laughs> I think this guy just got a small mouth, man. <laughs> Look at those little teeth. Looks like a kitten. <laughs> the teeth that, so, and by the way, we should say that this is probably the only person with good makeup. That's true. Like It looks like it was done really well. Yeah. Like all that the edges said, are hidden and stuff. Yeah. That said, he's definitely wearing a long hair wig for some reason. It's so strawy. <laughs> and and a cowboy hat to definitely cover up the edges of, of of the mask on the backside. But his makeup does look better than everyone else's so far, yes. right? Like it's oh, yeah. it's more of a complete package here, you know. But let yes. let's let's he, give a lot of credence to that last line he does though, because it's perfect. There's gonna be trouble here tonight. <laughs> now <laughs> is Satan, the only one with real facial hair in this, because Carmen is clean shaven. They also yeah, have a mustache. So. I don't know what. What are they trying to tell us? Does facial hair mm-hmm. make you evil? I don't know. Oh right? shit! This is early nineties, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you just got a mustache like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, refu- I I think this guy. I think the actor just had a mustache and he refused to shave it for this. Uh, Fair. I don't know. That looks fake video. to me. It does look fake, though. You're right. <laughs> I kind of like it though, like for this character, like it's oh kinda, yeah for sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> it fits. He looks just like Alan Jackson. He does. I stand by it. He really does. He's like, it's all right, be itty bitty. <laughs> <laughs> but can we all admit that he's in brown face here? Oh I no, mean... yeah, a little bit, a little bit. 
I mean, it's not full on blackface, but he's not white anymore. Like, the, this is definitely a character who has had dark makeup applied to his face to make him look darker. Okay. You Fair. wait. What are you trying to say? You trying to say <laughs> Carmen would do some kind of subtle racism in one of his videos or something? <laughs> That's what I'm saying out loud. Okay, mouth. yeah. All right, I yes. agree with that. That's a good point. <laughs> I think that's a safe call. <laughs> All right, you ready, guys? Ready for the next segment? Hell yeah! We get our Do first it. singing here. It's my favorite. Because I represent a whole new breed of Christian of today, and I'm authorized and deputized to blow them clean away. I've got a message to deliver to one who's true and just. We'll spit in your eye, you father of lies and Satan. Bite the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Satan looks appalled. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you tell me to bite the dust? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Them's I mean, fighting words. <laughs> just for a second, just musically, like, what the hell is this song? <laughs> it's all over <laughs> the know? place, right? <laughs> it is whatever it needs to be. In, just like Carmen, it is whatever it needs to be in the moment. <laughs> He's he was definitely a fan of Michael Jackson and the way he did his videos because they were just like full on like little films and shit. Yeah. And he's doing the same exact thing. But as you're saying musically, it is so all over the place. Because when he just belts out that part where he's like, he's doing all these like hardcore talking, and then he's just like, I represent. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like out of nowhere almost. <laughs> and once Satan shows up, basically right now is the singing. It's, it's stuff's about to start. Some people run out of the bar. And the actually, humans. Clifton, I think the woman makes the it woman out. The woman does see? run out, yeah. So yeah. somehow hey. she was unchained and all of that, even though I don't think Carmen shot her chain off. Yeah, so the humans run out, and the demons are just sitting here like, oh, no. But um, wait, can we admit that Satan was right next to that door? How did they run out? Like, did Satan was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Car- I'm more focused on Carmen. I don't care about these Car- other humans. Carmen's got him in his sights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great point, though. Yeah, I don't know. We get another shot of the woman demon. <laughs> she looks and like something is, from Evil Dead. Yeah, it's definitely just a Freddy Krueger mask on a guy who's wearing a wig and a dress. <laughs> <laughs> and Donovan, you demons. said that all of his people, all, all all the people were were volunteers. So I assume this person volunteered to be the demon woman. Yep. I yep. would love to find someone who was in this video <laughs> and interview them. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like. If anyone out there listening happens to know how we oh could find God. one of these people, please let us know. And it's going to tell the truth about it, not the Carmen truth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, they all signed NDAs, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but Carmen's dead now, so maybe maybe it's okay. No, he's a su- <laughs> he was a super businessman. He knows how to keep that shit sealed up. <laughs> yeah. For 10 trillion years. <laughs> all right. So after the humans run out, Satan goes to grab his gun, but Carmen's faster on the draw. Oh and shit. And has him pinned down so he can't he can't pull his gun. This town's it's only there's uh, it's only big enough for one of us. This town isn't big <laughs> enough for two well, I don't remember it right now. Yeah. <laughs> so so Satan puts his his gun back in his holster and Carmen starts walking towards him and mouthing off to him some more. Is Satan wearing a duster, by the way? It kind of looks I think like so. it. What's a duster? That long kind of Western style jacket. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that also is. like, I don't know, for some reason, like they associate with like, I don't know, teenage shooters and stuff. Yes. And, like, oh my but God. But it also could just be a trench coat that Carmen had in his closet. Okay. Yeah, oh definitely. God. Because <laughs> this is definitely a polo shirt, by the way, that yeah, these guys are wearing. Right, it's like a red <laughs> it's a, polo It's shirt. a polo shirt and his Sunday belt. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's Satan that we're talking about. I gotta way. go. I have a tea time later today. <laughs> <laughs> so it ends with uh, Carmen kind of mouthing off and, and saying, Satan bite the dust. And, and like right up in his face, too. Carmen yeah, is walking like, forward as he's talking this stuff, and it's like right up now in Satan's face. Uncomfortably so. Mm-hmm. Like, buddy, my bubble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And he tells Satan to bite the dust, and Satan looks offended, and we're ready to get back into the next segment. You guys ready? No. <laughs> Spit in your eye, you father of lies. Oh, God. Okay. Such a good okay, line. Okay, don't get ahead of us. <laughs> bite the dust. Oh. 
so real quick, so we don't have to come back and talk about it. Right there, Satan Satan gestured to one of his uh, minions to pull a gun on Carmen, and he did. But Carmen, once again, too quick off the draw, pulled his gun and shoots the gun out of that guy's hand. Now, do you, does anyone remember how many bullets Carmen loaded into the gun when he walked into the bar? Well, there should be no more than six, right? In that style of... Uh, sure, but load he any, loaded the he? gun when he walked into the bar. We watched him. Oh, uh, how many? Okay. Two. He put two bullets in the gun. That sounds okay. right. So he's already used both? That's both bullets at this point, yep. You guys are forgetting about the electricity bullets. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Actually, he also shot the one guy on the balcony, so that's three bullets at this point, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that was a negative that bullet was electricity territory. bullet. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he's all electricity bullets. <laughs> We're about to figure out that I was wrong here. Sorry about that. Boy, you gonna take me on and my unholy herd. Not only take you on, but take you out by the spirit and the word. One by one, you'll drop like flies underfoot and in the ground. Because greater is he who is in me than the snake I'm staring down. Okay, so that part right there where he starts, like, he throughout the rest of the song, he starts sampling other famous Western yes. scores. And, like, I was always, like baffled that he didn't get sued or anything by that i think it's just because like he had the balls because he's like i'm a yeah. christian artist they're not gonna come after me 100%. that's gotta be the only thing right it's yeah. the same it's the same thing with like the Re- the reese's the jesus christ t-shirts you know Things yeah, like yeah. That. it's like just like come after us we're christians we're making a pr nightmare of this for you right because yeah. there's so many and that's just the tip of the iceberg right there <laughs> Yes, but really what it comes down to is that Christians aren't creative enough to do anything on their own, and so they have to steal from the rest of the world. (laughs) The pagans are like, yeah! (laughs) (laughs) Which, by the way, not to like have, this this is kind of a stupid argument, but like, if God was real, surely his people would like be the most creative, right? Like, like be the, like if God was making people better, am I wrong about this? (laughs) I mean, you'd like to think so, right? (laughs) Yeah. If he was making people into the kind of people that he created and not the sinful ones that we became, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something, something, free will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jingly keys. Okay. Uh, that was kind of a short segment. Should we just move on to the next one? This next part coming up is the part I was talking about where it would get me so fucking exactly, pumped. Yes. And now when I listen to it, I'm like, oh, I'm like a turtle. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> I want to disappear. In my in my notes, I had that last segment labeled as "stupid exchange of words." <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you you want to take me on in my unholy herd? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You demon of alcoholism, you'll be the first to go. There's deliverance from you through Jesus Christ. So, hit the road. You spirit of infirmity, ye welcome here no more. We lay hands on the sick and they recover, so out the door. You demon of false religion, you've prayed on mine so simple. I bind the spirit of your song, so now come on! Play that in your temple. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. So what were the what were the three demons we had there? Alcoholism, infirmity, and false religion, right? Yes. Yeah. Alcoholism was the uh, the dwarf mixed with a with the Farscape uh, guy, I believe. The one that kept screaming at him. <laughs> was like, right. What kind of word is that? <laughs> uh, and so what he does is he uh, does he punch that guy? He breaks um, a bottle over his head. That's right. He yep. breaks a bottle over his head. Grabs a bottle yeah. of booze, breaks it over his head. The guy falls, to, like stumbles, falls to the ground, and he also does the disappear your light thing. Mm-hmm. So, again, the answer to dealing with your enemies is violence. Yes. Like, I just want to be yeah. clear that, like, we can see <laughs> where all the shit, January 6th, like, everything we end up with, like, uh, God of it is coming from this type of stuff, where it's yeah. like... I'm right, I'm righteous, God is with me, therefore I can do this, and it's yes. fine. But really where yeah. this is coming from is is Carmen's macho fucking toxic masculinity. <laughs> yeah, and he's right. like, I got Absolutely. To, and he's like, I got to show on film that we're, we're, we're better than these people. How do we be better than these people? We violent, we're violent against them. Uh, right. <laughs> but that I'm is a like a part guy. of this belief system oh, yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Ugh. And then the demon of infirmity is the melty um <laughs> hooded. Yeah. <laughs> melty person. hooded hooded demon. <laughs> and this one Carmen does punch because what do you what what you should punch? Infirmity, Sick, I guess. Sickness? <laughs> Sick people? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got leprosy punch you in the mouth <laughs> <laughs> so then he turns to the demon of false religion it, it, it's the guy who was playing the uh, the stringed instrument the eastern european stringed instrument i, I mentioned earlier who looks like a, a little goblin clifton and i i gotta be honest at first when you were like oh he's like jewish da, 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 i was like maybe clifton's doing it a little too far but now that he's the nope. demon of false religion i'm like <laughs> Shit. Okay. Maybe maybe you're onto something. Yeah, yeah what, exactly. <laughs> what he says though is the fucking worst. Yeah, so let's find those lyrics. Do you do you know them out uh, off your off the top of your head, Donovan? Uh not not at all. All I know is just the very last words was just play that in your temple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. So fucked up. Yes, okay. <laughs> you demon of false religion, you've prayed on mine so simple. I bind the spirit of your song, so El Kabong. And that's when he hits him over the head with his little guitar thingy. He's, and he goes, he's, boing! He says El Kabong? El, yes. Like Deputy fucking Duke? I don't know. What is El Kabong? It's from Deputy Duke. It's a Hanna-Barbera character. Yeah, he gets quick, people draw, with guitar. quick draw McGraw. Like, I remember I'm that just guy, yeah. I'm just Googling this, yeah. El Kabong. Yeah. What the fuck? Are you serious? I'm so sick of this. <laughs> God, he's just stealing shit from everybody. But yeah, he hits him in the fucking head and he's like, play that in your temple and kills him. Well, he doesn't kill him, actually. Oh, not him. This is the one that he doesn't kill. The Somehow the guitar sticks to his head and he runs out the door. Oh, he's yeah. So he's, he's the one demon that doesn't disappear. I feel like there's some. I feel like he was like, I can't kill him. That goes too far. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's crazy that he's the only one that doesn't die. That's definitely intentional. I don't. I. 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 I personally. Or maybe think not. That he's Carmen stupid. just thought it was funnier to watch a little guy with little guy that he just broke a guitar over his head run out the door than it would be to, for him to disappear. That's true. It's very cartoon. Also, when he breaks the cartoon o- or the guitar over his head, it's like <laughs> he just like. like yeah. Taps or presses Tap, it. Taps, like, he, yes, he presses it on top of his head. It's, <laughs> it's, not even like <laughs> it's just like, boop. All right, now, Carmen, now you can't break. This is the only guitar we have. Right. If you break this one, we can't have a second take. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm surprised Carmen wasn't like, I don't do second takes. <laughs> just smashed it. <laughs> All right, that brings us back to where we were. You guys ready for, let me see. I think we have... Three more segments. So this is our third from last segment. Now Satan, you're next in line. I'm gonna hit you where it hurts. Cause I'm tired of you and my family. And I'm tired of you and my church. I'm not my own, I'm bought with a price. I'm a Holy Ghost filled man. And I'm tolling the bell of your eternal destruction across the land. Cause I that that was the part. That was it right there. That was the <laughs> one that fucking got me all the time and ugh, I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, that this one I have uh, labeled in my notes as uh, telling Satan off. <laughs> you get out of here, Mister. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even he, like you around here. He does walk towards him and finger point while he's saying all he this is, stuff. Yes. And Satan's and look just at Satan, standard. he's so calm, just standing there taking it. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's like, oh, okay. Well, if if that's the way you feel. <laughs> <laughs> That part, though, where he's like, because I'm tired of you and my family, and I'm tired of you and my church. Yep, that's the best I remember part. being a kid and just being like, hell yeah, I am. Get out of here, <laughs> devil. <laughs> this is like, this is interesting to me, too, because there's no, like, there's no blame on him. Like, all the problems, all the things Carmen is dealing with are all caused by Satan. It's all yes. someone else's fault. There's no, yep. like... Maybe I did some things to bring this on myself or like, again, I'm sorry, I'm pulling this to politics a little bit right now or just like broader, like, <laughs> what has our country done to like, you know, cause some of this stuff? Like, oh, we're, we're all, we're blaming everything on immigrants. Why do we have these immigrants? Oh, because our country keeps fucking bombing or putting sanctions or doing all this <laughs> other shit on these countries. You know, like, yes, no, there's the no <laughs> analysis or realization of that. It's just like all problems come from you, Satan. Um, So... 
Yeah. I don't know. The more I watch this, the more I'm like, oh, fuck. I can <laughs> see why we are where we are. Yep. <laughs> like, like it's, it's literally, it's the most, it's the simplest, like, it, it, we're going to examine it, but in the simplest way possible, right? We're not uh-huh. going to, we're not going to, like, look into our past. No. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and if we do look into our past, it's like, Oh, here's when I surrendered to to the demon of alcoholism. It's not right. like it's not like here's that time I chose to drink, and here's the other time I chose to drink, and here's the other yep. time I chose to yep. drink. Yep. Yep. It completely <laughs> negates any responsibility for any of your own actions. Yes. And it's and it that was a that was a huge problem with a lot of people in the church where it was just oh, like, yeah. oh, well, you know, demons and shit. <laughs> And then, then, then these are also people who got up and said, people need to be responsible for their own actions. <laughs> All right. This is not projection. <laughs> yes. I just don't want black people to get to get money from the government. Come on. Right. Because that's... I'm right, everybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is exhausting, you guys. We're only, we've only been getting at this for like less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do this song when we did the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second to last segment here, guys. And, and I'm tolling the bell of your eternal destruction across the land. Because I represent a whole new breed of Christian of today. And I'm authorized and deputized to blow you clean away. I've got a weapon with two bullets that overcome all sin and crud. One bullet is called the word of my testimony, and the other one's called the blood. Satan! Bite the dust. <clears throat> Whoo! <laughs> Fun stuff. So, what do we see first? He's singing more. I think we kind of see... Yeah, some, some, of the, some of the demons he hasn't killed yet run out of the bar. Yeah, right. Including that ugly old lady demon. I wonder what they were the demons of. There was the. You think that one demon was a demon of homosexuality? The one, the one that was clearly a man dressed as a woman. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. What, yeah, I a, was thinking it was interesting. Scene. <laughs> the three that he picks in the song are actually like. I don't know. He could have picked more relevant <laughs> ones. <laughs> right. I thought, like especially the false religion one. But again, you know. His other music video had the Jewish name for the yes. warlock and stuff, so maybe he had to just get that in here. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But the other ones, the other two demons of alcoholism and, and infirmity, maybe I'm going to sound like an asshole here, <laughs> but it's the early 90s. Men don't go to church in the early 90s. It's mostly women who go to church, and they're like older elderly women whose husbands are alcoholics, and oh, they're sick, right, you know? Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, he knows his audience. He knows yeah. his audience. Oh yeah, he Carmen knew that his that older women were like his fucking bag, dude. And yeah. when he would go town to town, he he knew what was up. <laughs> <laughs> his married women were just like flocking this dude. So Satan does what? what so so Carmen stops, I guess, to reload. Maybe this is where I got the two bullets thing. Maybe it didn't happen at the beginning of the video. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just here. Okay. So yeah, Carmen stops to reload bullets. his gun. <laughs> and while he's doing that, Satan tries to pull out his gun from his holster, but there's a there's a yellow lightning bolty thing around his holster that's not letting the gun come out. Which to me says that God was fucking cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was, you know, holding his tipping the scale a little bit here. <laughs> So Carmen loads the two bullets. One is called what's it called? The 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 power the of his testimony. The the called the word of my testimony, and the other one's called the blood. That's what I call my arms before I fight somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting that Carmen puts the word of his testimony on the same level as the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. He yeah. Damn. mentions it before. He does stuff like that all the time, yeah. Mm. Oh, Interesting, shit. Carmen. Interesting. So, 
the lyrics really hit me this time on the chorus because he says, because I represent a whole new breed of Christian of today. Yes. Yep. And so then you start thinking, okay, what is that in the next line? And I'm authorized and deputized to blow you clean away. And again, mm-hmm. I'm just like, well, fuck, no wonder yes. we ended up where yes. we are. Good God. Like, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the new world. Us new Christians have to be ready to fight, take on what we need to, to get America back. Yeah, it's not this, like, (laughs) blessed are the peacemakers, you know? It's like, (laughs) what? Forget Jesus and all this. This is more like macho Christian land, yeah. Yeah. Jesus was a soy boy, if you ask ask Carmen. (laughs) I mean. He was was a soy boy beta cuck guy. (laughs) I don't remember the rest of the words. I think it's mean. (laughs) Yep. When you worship power, this is mm-hmm. the kind of thing that you think is holy. True. Damn, he's got some white teeth, you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those are definitely dentures. Nah. Holy shit. <laughs> you don't think they're dentures or implants or something? Like, oh, it's no, they not probably his are. Natural. This caps, man maybe. Has... Maybe he has caps or something. Yeah, this guy did a lot of cocaine. Those are not his teeth. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys ready to watch the last bit of this? Hell yeah, let's bring it home. Do it. Bite the dust. Bite the dust. Well, how do you feel about that, devil? I'm a feeling mighty low. Good. Oh man. That's it. How many times do you think it took him to do that shot that like close like pan in where he's flipping the gun back and forth? <laughs> oh a bunch. <laughs> so uh yeah, to be clear here, he 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 pulls his gun, shoots Satan twice. And, and the, well, actually he shoots Satan once and he's kind of stumbles out the door and he shoots him again and he falls to the ground. And this this lighty thing is pulsing light is Trying to surround Satan, I guess. You want to say that? It was kind of coming out of his chest after the yeah. first shot, yeah. too. Yeah. With he shot him with the world's most powerful handgun. <laughs> yeah. No flew, kickback like... on Carmen's side, but it, but when it hit the devil, it threw him back 10 feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> through those very stereotypical swingy doors we were talking about earlier. Yeah. And we, we're, all well, we're all well familiar with the conservation momentum. So, okay. So Satan falls to the ground, and and I'm I'm sure I'm sure of all of the lyrics to this song. This is the ones that Carmen spent the longest on. Um, yeah, probably. He, he says, "How do you feel about that, devil?" <laughs> and the devil says, "I'm feeling a mighty low." <laughs> Good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And Carmen is standing over the devil with his hands on his hips, looking rather proud of himself. Don't forget about the Bonanza sam- uh, fucking theme song sampled in there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was like, I, did he just blow a kiss at him? Oh, no, he yeah. said good. <laughs> <laughs> Almost looked like it, though. It yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a feeling a mighty low. <laughs> what's, that, what's, what's interesting, though, is that we don't see Satan do the disappearing thing. He just lays down, and we immediately cut to... What's supposedly Carmen on the horse doing, and where the horse, what do you call this? Like rears up or something? Yeah, yeah I think that's it. <laughs> I don't remember. You know. <laughs> I just play Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> and then he rides off into into the night. Hell yeah. He should have double tapped. He should double tap Satan. We don't know if he's dead. <laughs> he did double tap him, but then he didn't even wait for him to disappear. Although, looking back at the at the saloon as as... Carmen rides off. There's no, there's no one laying on the ground out here. Yeah, it's, he pulled a Michael Myers. Yeah, you see this little bit right here that I'm circling with my mouse. Hmm? Those are electrical panels, I think. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait, Hilarious. which part? Let's do it again. On the right side, downstairs, mm. right by the door. It's to the right of the door. Yeah, I th- okay. it's an ice machine. <laughs> 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 it does kind of look like that. It's definitely something metal mounted to the wall. <laughs> right. Yeah, also it's clearly like electric lights on inside the yeah. saloon. Oh, yeah. It's way too bright otherwise. <laughs> um, but it 
There's a payphone over there. <laughs> well, guys, this was this has been yeah okay. What do we think overall of this? <sighs> yeah. yeah. Well, like, uh, kind of like Donovan said, like. I mean, it is kind of Michael Jackson-ish in, like, mm. trying to make a story in the video. Mm-hmm. And in some ways, that's cool, right? Like, especially as Christian kids who were probably not allowed to watch Michael Jackson. It, like... Absolutely. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. But then part of me, now that I'm an adult dissecting the messages, I'm like, oh, shit, this is really <laughs> fucked up. And, like, <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Like, yeah. you know? So, I'm kind of a mixed minds definitely more in the like oh shit this is really bad but <laughs> all right <laughs> I, I, I think my most surprising thing about it is that the song part like if you're just listening to it there's very little meat here the only yeah. things that really are meat here are like the demons of alcoholism infirmity and false religion and i'm authorized and deputized to blow you all away yeah. there's nothing else of real interest that goes on yeah right. It's kind. It also kind of like musically and lyrically. It kind of is like he starts a story, and kind of abandons it a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it starts yeah. with like I'm hunting down the devil, and then it turns into this is why I can kill the devil. And it's like, but but where were did you find him? <laughs> yeah. The de- what what happened in the story is actually the devil got tired of being called out, and that's why he showed up. Right. He said, you rattle my chains one too many times or something like that. You rattle my chain boy long enough. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that rewatching these things is always weird because, like, there's the first – when you're just watching it, it has that era of this silly bullshit that I watched when I was a kid, you know. Oh, my God, it's so goofy. <laughs> And, but then you like you start listening to the words and you start realizing like what you guys were saying with the connections with like how Christians are today. It was basically the same in a mirrored way with like, you know, after 9-11 with certain shit and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it was just like you start realizing that and it gets very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> so like it goes from like, look at these dumb videos to like, oh, wait, no, that that's false religion guy is very racist very <laughs> i think i think it's all very racist none, none right. of if you go look at that stuff none of those demons were white yeah no that was yeah when you're a kid you're like that's that's just makeup it doesn't matter <laughs> it's not <Yeah>. intentional <laughs> uh, see it's yeah. gross <laughs> <laughs> it's super gross yes and i i, I feel like carmen really phoned in the song on this one just because he wanted to make this video. Yeah. I think he was also super jazzed on the concept as well. Like he didn't really have a, right. he didn't really have a, a full bodied song. He was no. just like, it'd be cool to do like a Western thing. Yeah. That's the main reason those samples are in there. Yeah. He, he had 30 seconds of concept that he, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was just an idea. I also wonder if like, songs like because which is invitation i think was on the album before this right like i wonder yeah. if those kind of songs he started to see like oh this shit's popular and so oh, yeah. he's just more like it's, okay it's i'll easy. make weird ass like songs like this you know yep. yeah oh like the fucking champion that's nine and a half minutes long <laughs> right like you realize <laughs> no one's listening to my real songs so <laughs> i'll just like do more of the weird shit and continue to get popular I don't know, man. The <laughs> lyrics dance, we kicking it for Christ are pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, this is this is the third time that we've covered Carmen, which means that Carmen is the most covered oh, musician on our podcast. <laughs> I apologize full heartedly <laughs> for that. <laughs> Cause I but know two ways, of those times are my fault. <laughs> <laughs> if you were like Growing up in this era of the 80s and 90s and a Christian, like, you had to, everybody experienced Carmen, I feel oh, like. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. And so, it's like, unfortunately, it's kind of like foundational for all of us. True. Yeah, especially for a lot of us becoming little Christian nationalists. Yep. <laughs> which is something that, thankfully, a, 
thankfully a lot of people in our circles that shed that in their teens and early 20s but there's a lot of people that unfortunately didn't and this was the fucking seeds that were planted to grow those wonderful little flowers i know 100 oh. <laughs> percent. yep so when you talk to your cousins or your siblings that are your same age and they're still believing this shit just know it's because of fucking carmen <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. at least at least to some extent you know yeah yeah and he's dead so he can't argue with you he's just, <laughs> just blaming on him <laughs> donovan we i think we forgot to ask you to plug your stuff at the beginning of the episode so maybe we should do that now yeah oh, okay yeah cool um so i have a new podcast coming out uh at the end of october it's going to be on a Thursday. Don't know the exact date yet, but it's probably going to be the last Thursday of the year. I mean, last Thursday of October before Halloween. It is called... That, huh? So that's 24th. The same day this will come out then. Oh, then that would work out perfectly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, it is called Jesus Stole Our Movies. Uh, I'm doing it with a buddy from another podcast called The Escapist Room, uh, where we uh, talk about movies and TV shows we weren't allowed to watch growing up evangelical for whatever crazy Christian reasons, whether it be like, oh, that's got the devil's magic or the gay agendas in this. So we're going to just watch those through the uh, eyes of an adult uh, who got to miss out on pop culture as a child. So come watch those with us. It's called Jesus Stole Our Movies. The first movie is going to be Halloween, the John Carpenter <laughs> classic. So I'm, nice. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. And thank you guys for having me again. This was awesome. Of course. Thanks for coming, Donovan. Yeah, and thanks for having this idea fun. to do this for Halloween. This is great. Hell yeah, man. Stay tuned for our next episode on Three Crosses. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was able to help a little bit by stalling with this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful little trip down memory lane. <laughs> It's going to be rough. It may be shorter than this episode. <laughs> no, it'll be fun, though. We have a funny reason for doing it, so it should Wait add up. a little humor and at least intrigue into yes. it. So, I'm going to I'm gonna go check these guys out when I get off of here. Three crosses. Don't. <laughs> Did you say don't? <laughs> no, do it. Do it. You'll, you'll love it. <laughs> I can't be any worse than fucking Whiplash. That band was gnarly. Did you guys listen to Whiplash? No, but it sounds like we should. <laughs> oh my goodness don't listen to them <laughs> i'll send it to you but i don't know if you're gonna you should listen <laughs> this three crosses is fine you know it's 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 one of those things that's like it's horrible because it's it's just good enough and yeah and 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 which makes it mundane right it's one of those things you're like eh, why did this get popular yes instead of other yeah. things that should have been <laughs> yeah why, I know that. why were they invited on 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 tours with uh with petra and jars of clay you know <laughs> well you know anybody who got invited on tours with jar, jars of clay suffered so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> unless you guys like jars of clay i don't think i've ever nah. met someone who's actually liked jars of clay <laughs> no no I, I i enjoyed that first album but then after that i was you know yeah I always forget their one popular song. What is it? Yeah, Flood. Oh yeah, yeah. Ring, that's ring oh, don't no, don't don't do it. Don't do it. No, please. Ring, <laughs> ding, ding. That is the worst quality song. Like as far as production ring, goes, that got popular. It's so bad. He sounds like he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another episode of Your Music Saved Us. If you enjoyed your time with us, please leave us a review or share this episode. Visit patreon.com slash ymsu to contribute and get extended episodes. Visit our website, yourmusicsavedus.com to find out all the ways to listen. We're on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Join our Facebook group or follow us to keep up with the latest or interact with us. Send complaints and disagreements to yourmusicsavedus at gmail.com. The music in this episode is the work of the artist Carmen and is used with apologies, not permission. 
I was going to try to tell you where to buy some of his stuff, but... What? I, no. Why would okay, you do that? Sorry. Well, I just assumed he might have like some sweet merch or something still available, but I don't I don't see any, so... Carmen's dead. He can go fuck himself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he already fucked us. Why? Why? <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Dude, uh...